10. But we begin with breaking news. The armed civilian group kicked off of land near Sunland Park now says it is ready to occupy a new spot. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. They say no one we will be able to remove them this time. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields in the newsroom. She spoke with the group's spokesman a little while ago. That's right, Natasha. That spokesman told me that this time they plan to continue their work, but this time on a piece of private property that they've secured the rights to be on. As we've reported, the last members of the group was forced from their Sunland Park campsite yesterday. Spokesman Jim Benvy says police originally gave them till Friday to leave. He says the group already has a new spot in mind. He did not specify where that is, but says it'll still be along the border. The group is also considering filing a lawsuit against the American Civil Liberties Union. Suing them for the baseless allegations that they wrote to the governor. Kidnapping, as an example, that was full. There was no proof of that. There is no proof of that. It's already been investigated, and there's no proof of that. Benby says they're still working out the details. He added that the new location is expected to be up and running soon, possibly by Monday. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you very much, Stephanie. Today we heard from Sunland Park's police chief who says the militia group broke a promise. Chief Javier Guerra says the United Constitutional Patriots actually set up camp near Sunland Park about two months ago. He says the group agreed they would not point their weapons or detain anyone. When that Facebook video of the group went out on social media, well, the chief says the deal was off. I got a, a video that came from uh, uh, somewhere in uh, northern New Mexico. And when I started viewing the video, I didn't like what I saw. It was completely different of what I've asked the, this gentleman not to do. And the chief says after the video, Sunland PD coordinated with the FBI, ultimately leading to the arrest of the group's leader, Larry Hopkins. And speaking of Hopkins, tonight he's being held at a new facility after he was attacked at the Doña Ana County Detention Center overnight. The sheriff's office says a 69-year-old suffered non-life-threatening injuries. As we told you, he had been in jail since Saturday, charged with felon in possession of firearms and ammunition. He has another court hearing next Tuesday in Albuquerque. Well, the number of asylum seekers passing through 